It's a great night at the Greek Theater in L.A., and I'm here with John. How are you? I'm very good. Just got off the stage, man. Like, great. Live audience out there at the Greek Theater. It was a beautiful, beautiful time, man. The stars in the sky. You're back. Yeah. I mean, the trees, all that, you know. Well, if it, the weather is less breezy like last time at, in slow. It's it's kind of hot out there. It was a little bit hotter out there. Yeah, I felt I felt a little bit of heat. But that's all right, though, you know. Well, you gave you gave hell of a performance out there. I saw, you know, you took it back with a couple uh, Tupac songs. Well, yeah, yeah. You know what? In my my song, Are You Still Down, that I have with Tupac, I wanted to pay homage, you know, pay, you know, see, pay my respects, you know. And he has such an incredible discography of songs and hits that everybody knows and loves. So I felt like, let me take a couple beats from his other records. And when his rap comes in, I'm going to switch up the beat. So you hear a little, I get around, or a little bit, you know what I mean? Keep your head up, whatever it was. I think it was like, a, yeah, keep your head up in there. So. We, we, the energy was really amazing when, when that came on and you were rocking the mic and you, you know, it, would you took it back? Well, you know what? I mean, I feel like if I don't do, they don't know. The, the crowd would probably want their money back. <laughs> but I mean, they'd be like, John B didn't, he didn't perform. No, it's, a, it's nice to have like some, you know, a couple of songs that really, you know, resonate with people. After all this time, you know, I'm still singing my, my, my records, you know, don't listen to what people say, you know. So if you had an opportunity to either go back to the past or go to the future, which one would you choose? Oh, for sure, the future. Yeah, you know, I try not to look back as much as possible, um, being that there's so much to look forward to, you know, and I'm so thankful for being alive right now. Um, my craft is still music and still art, you know, in terms of, you know, I'm still making, I'm still making videos. I'm still putting together tours. I'm on the road all the time singing. And I'm about done with this new album. So it's coming out in November, actually. And uh, you didn't want to disclose the single names out there. You know, now now I can start to loosen up with that. So, yeah. So we've got a little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the new single is actually going to be called Waiting on You is featuring somebody who's going to be here tonight in a little while. I don't know if he's got here yet, but featuring my man Tank. He's on the single. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So really, you know, it's an honor to have him on the on the new single. And we shot a video for it. That's, that's a call video, too. So. You know, just um, letting everybody know I'm still here, still doing this, you know. Be on the lookout for it. Well, one more thing before you go, because I know you got to get, you know, freshen up a little bit after after your performance. So do you think that if people posted their bad times on social media like they do their good times, there would be some type of difference in the way people would view their page? You mean it put the post their good times as opposed to their bad times or post a lot of people post their good times they hardly ever post their bad time it's an interesting thing i see a little bit of both though i will say i see a lot of you want to see more a lot of negative stuff on on the internet so for me just to see positive things means the most to me you know i don't care how positive it is and how cheesy it is it to me it just we can't get enough of that and i know it's sort of unrealistic because like Life isn't always, you know, peaches, right, and perfect. But I feel like we have enough bad news that makes us fear, wake up with fear and with, with tension in our hearts, you know what I'm saying? That it's nice to be able to hear a beautiful song or see a beautiful painting or look outside and see, you know, some beautiful weather or a beautiful, you know, just, you know. And there's so much talent out there. And the talent, you know, and just, you know, the, the whole thing is like people people still care about living a quality life out here. It's not just about how much money you got and whatever, you know? It's like quality of life, like smile. Well, follow John Beyonce. There's a lot of people with a lot of money who's still unhappy, you know what I'm saying? So so just be happy out there, y'all. Follow John B on social media. Give them your social. Oh, yeah, I'm official John B, all right, on all the social media. Um, all the positive content. <laughs> yes, I J O N B. all right, official John B. Yeah, man, and new album is called Waiting on You because y'all have been waiting so long and I have been waiting on you as well, so. Thank you for joining us again. Great to see you. I'll catch you again next time. Absolutely. Take care, y'all. One love. What's up, y'all? This is your man John B. Backstage here at the Key Sweat Show. Me, Keith Sweat Tank, and 702 and 112. What a night of R&B. Come on, baby. If you're a fan of R&B, you're very happy tonight, you know. And I'm just, I'm very happy to be included in the, what an incredible lineup, man. A lot of legends on the bills and 
you know, and Bobby D doesn't, you know, he doesn't skip a, a beat, man. He doesn't take any shorts. He makes sure to give you a quality show. So we want to make sure to appreciate the boss himself, you know, my man Bobby D. Big up. This your, this your brother, John B. Send you a shout, man. Everybody out here in L.A. who's come to the show tonight, thank you for showing your love tonight. It was a pleasure to sing and perform for you. Until next time, the next Bobby D. show. I'm going to see you. All right? Blessed up.